Hello everyone and welcome back to another repair video. My name is Antoine and in today's video we have this iPhone 11 Pro which has a very bad story, came for a housing exchange and then became a sensor problem. So we had to change the sensor but in this video we're going to be focused and discuss how to get rid of the important display message because the problem is in the sensor so we, uh, when you change the screen or the sensor and you don't swap the IC you will get the important display message which uh, tells you that the screen has been changed. So in this video, I'm going to show you step by step what the tools that you need and how to do it. So I already removed the IC from the old sensor and rebolted it and I will show you under the microscope in just a bit. And it's uh, very easy to remove it if you have the old sensor broken. But in my case, it has been already separated uh, from the OLED screen. Uh, so it was easy to remove. And now I'm going to show you that the tools that you need uh, first, it's magic tool that made our work very easy these days, and I'm talking about this little bad boy, which is a 3.7 volts, 350 milliamps portable IC chip grinding pen. Now, this has only one speed, but it's very comfortable working with, and comes with a lot of grinding heads, and also with a separate charger to charge the battery. Uh, of course, I will put the, the link for it in the description down below, so you can buy it, and it's also very cheap. So uh, the next tool is, is this uh, adhesive tape, which I will not try even to pronounce his name. And this uh, one over here is a thin blade to put under the uh, sensor flex. So we can safely solder the IC back, obviously because of the heating. Uh, so uh, now all the tools will be linked in the description down below. And of course, uh, we are not <laughs> going uh, to forget our uh, hot air station and our soldering tape. Uh, so uh, now uh, let's jump under the microscope and uh, begin the process. So as you can see, the blade is under the flex. Uh, by the way, uh, we use this blade to open iPhones and iPads. And also if you have trouble put the blade under the flex, uh, try some alcohol and heat will definitely help to make sure that the glue is loose. And you can see I taped the adhesive tape all around the corner. Uh, now we will, when we are going to drill the IC, you will still need a tape to make sure that uh, nothing is going on in the LCD. Uh, of course, in our case, we don't have our frame glued yet, and we will leave it uh, for later so we can solder the IC back so that the blade and the adhesive tape will make sure that the heat will not affect the screen. So now we are going to begin the drilling process, and it's going to be a layer by layer. I'm going to show you everything, and uh, I'll catch you after our process is done. clean the old IC pads and you can solder the original IC or you can clean all the underfill and then solder it back. 
but I prefer the second option because the IC will sit perfectly. But you will have to use a lot of mask and do the cleaning. Uh, so that's going to look, it's not going to look uh, so good. Uh, so I'll catch you after I finish cleaning and put the mask on the flex. And then we will solder the original IC. So this is the final result. As you can see, I have a, a two pads over here that I uh, scratched, but uh, I did the jumper and now let's go and solder the IC. So the final results are here and now we're going to test our work. This is the same screen that we've changed the uh, EEPROM sensor IC, I, I will call it, <laughs> just to make sure that the important display message will not pop up again. And now we are going to wait for the phone to boot up. As you can see, there's a couple of bubbles on the, on the screen. It's okay, it's the same screen. And waiting for the phone to boot up. All this process just to make sure that the important display message will not pop up to make sure that it is the original screen which is a very bad thing for repairs. Okay, here we go. The sensor is working. Now let's go to settings and see if, if we still have the important display message. No, we don't. So uh, we soldered the original one and the sensor is working perfectly. So I guess our job is done. So thanks for watching. If the video was helpful, please make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel for additional content in the future. And as always, stay safe and have a good day. And I will catch you guys in another repair video. Peace out.